what's going on guys? This is Nels from Campfire Gamers. How was everyone's turkey day? Mine was great. Got to see some family and friends that I haven't seen in months because I've been away at school. Um, but uh, it was a good break. It was a good break. Uh, as it should have been. But anyway, guys, welcome to episode 2 of Map Control. I'm very pleased on how the first one did considering the amount of people that it usually would see it and the amount of subscribers we had. But enough about that. So let's talk about episode 2, which is going to be on firing range. Um, basically what I do in these map control episodes, I'll show you every aspect of the game type that will help you become a better player and help you win your games more. Um, these are the 8 spawn points on firing range and you need to pay attention because the way free for all spawns work is basically if your back is turned to the spawn, uh, the, the game will spawn it there because it's considered a safe spawn for the game. And uh, I don't know if they'll tweak this in the future but this is how it works now. Um, here are the 4 main areas where you're going to get your kills. Um, you can say whatever you want, whether you be a better player than me, a worse player than me, uh, it doesn't matter. Basically, the way I view this map from experience and playing it is that these are the four main areas where you're going to get your kills. And you want to avoid the other side altogether because that's where you're going to find your campers. That's going to, that's where, basically the spot where you're going to die the most. You'll, unless you out, unless someone outguns you, but usually when you get the hang of this game, they will not outgun you. You'll be getting your kills on the other side. But um, you want to stay away from this side altogether because you'll see it in every game type. People will be planting claymores on the stairs, uh, watching the ladder that goes up there, and they'll just pick off people. So it's good altogether just to stay away from there because no one likes to die in this game. It's frustrating. You lose your hair over it. I'm already losing my hair. Thanks, Dad. But uh. Let's get into some gameplay, shall we? Alrighty, let's look at this pretty gameplay. And we're gonna have a second commentator on this one, my roommate. If he wants to participate, I don't know, he's watching The Office right now. Damn it, I'm never gonna finish this. What? I'm never gonna finish this. Well then put the headphones on! I do have them on, I can still hear you. Wow, is my voice that loud? You care to explain? What about your Bose headset? Hayden, do you want me to go get those for you? <laughs> Where's all the way over there? Yeah. Hayden, that's so sad. You get up to make yourself a cheese sandwich, but you can't pick up your headsets that are like three feet closer. Anyways, I guess my uh, my roommate's not going to be participating with us in map control. He's going to he thinks the office is more important. Uh, but we'll leave it to him. Well, anyways, guys, uh, I'm Nels from Campfire Gamers. You can call me Nelly, whatever you pl whatever you feel like. Um, and welcome to episode two of Map Control. We're going to be playing on some uh, firing range. And uh, the reason why I do free for all before every other game type is because I feel that you need to develop your individual skill before you can have teamwork. Um, you're basically your teamwork. I feel is useless unless you can defend yourself. So I feel that learning how to play free for all and becoming better through free for all is a lot better than uh, going into game types that require team team uh, team being a team player. And so I basically we're gonna be using we're gonna be doing free for all first on all the maps before we go into other game types. Um, so. Here we're we're using AK seventy four U with rapid fire, and in case you haven't tried it out, I highly suggest you try rapid fire on a submachine gun. More specifically, the AK seventy four U because it is probably the closest thing to OP in this game. OP is overpowered, um, and I, I'm not saying it's like drastically overpowered. I mean, it's it's just a really good gun. Um, but uh, it's it, I highly suggest you use it. Um, and then as for perks, I'm going to be using Hardline Pro, uh, Steady Aim, and uh, Hacker. I know I missed that claymore earlier. That was my fault. I wasn't being too attentive. Um, but, you know, it's all right. We're not going to let it happen again. And then as for kill streaks, I'm using a very low kill streak that's easy for basically anyone to use. It's going to be 246, which is with Hardline Pro. It's going to be UAV. Um, uh, what is it called? Napalm Strike and uh, Heli. I know most people would say, uh, well, why don't you have any care packages in there? Um, the reason why I didn't put care packages in here is because, one, this map is really kind of open. You don't really get cover, so most of the time when you throw down a care package, you might get it stolen if you're not careful. And because um, Hardline Pro is being patched uh, in the near future, uh, it's no longer going to be you're able to change uh, or re-roll your all care packages. That means Valkyrie rockets, sentry guns... Um, uh, Sam turrets, all those won't be able to reroll. It will only be the care package. 
So um, that that's going to be changed, and so we're going to leave that leave that alone. We're not going to worry about care packages. You can use them if you like, but I suggest using these kill streaks. So if since you're here to be better at the game, I, I assume. But um, I know I kind of broke my own little decree of not going over here, but the players I was going against weren't that good, so I just took advantage of that. Um, let's see what else about map control. Uh, on this specific map, um. If you don't want to use the weapon class that I set that I give you, um, I mean I'm not saying that that you have to use this. It's all about what weapons you're comfortable with. I just chose the weapon that's uh that's best for all players. Um, ooh, sit down. <coughs> but anyways, um, you can use with any weapon you're comfortable with, but make sure something that has uh, if you're gonna use something with a suppressor, make sure it has enough range. Um, and can be used in close range. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the a lot of the fighting or the kills that I get basically are going to be close range. Um, it's not really something at a distance. So um, if you're going to use an assault rifle, I recommend either the AUG or the or the FAMAS. Both are basically the same weapons. The recoil is just a little a little different, um, and they have the the uh, firing rate of a submachine gun, so that's always good. And then, as for submachine guns, I think other ones you can use are probably the NPL. Um, what else can you use? Um, you can use the Spectre if you like it. Not many people like the Spectre, but it's a pretty decent gun. Um, you can also use the very last submachine gun, the classified one. I'm not don't remember the name that much, but uh, yeah. Ooh, sit down, sir. Damn, that guy got fucking raped. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the end for map control. Uh, look forward to episode three. If uh, if you guys like it, make sure to like this because, you know, I like it when you guys like it. But uh, I'll see you guys later, and hopefully another episode of map control will be up. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song.